All right, so my desk here is an absolute mess. And this light's totally in your way. <laughs> I'm a mess. All right, my Fat Shark goggles. I had a bit of a love-hate relationship with these guys since I got them. There's stuff I like, there's stuff I don't like. The number one thing I don't like is this. This balance cable is incredibly weak. I've already had to fix it on both of the batteries I have. And I just hate the fact that you gotta plug two cables into it. So, recently I picked up one of these guys for just a couple bucks. Scissors! I just had them in my hand. There. Freaking camouflage. And what this is, is this is a voltage regulator. Part of the issue with the goggles is that the fan runs on 3.7 volts. Goggles run on 7 point whatever molds. So I got a regulator and my goal is to do a mod to these goggles to where every time I plug in a main power source, it'll automatically power up the fan. Related to that, this place is such a mess. Uh, absolutely related to that, last weekend when I was leaving the regional finals after a day of disappointment, my spotter, Nate uh, Saito, NSFPV, um, gave me this guy. This is a cable from Skyward RC that allows you to plug in like any LiPo. It looks like up to 6 or 7S. Gosh. Any LiPo into this, and this end plugs into your Fat Sharks. Love this. Then you can just stick a big fat battery in your pocket. Your goggles are lighter and it's awesome. The downfall is if you do this, you don't have a fan. So if I can figure out the solution I'm hoping to figure out for inside of these goggles, then uh, that goes away. So this is a guide to the ultimate mods to your Fat Shark HD3s. Let's do it. <laughs> prove it works I took the top off the fan All right, so here's my battery plugged into the goggles without the balance port plugged in here's the balance port from inside of the goggles plug it in there fan is on ta-da before I put the face plate back on I want to do another mod I don't know if it's gonna be the bomb diggity or not because I've never done it but this one comes as a suggestion from the infamous Kahuna, also known as Travis Grindle. Uh, shout out to uh, the KCFPB folks. I got this from China. It's like a vinyl leathery faceplate cushion for the Fat Sharks. So let's get it installed. <laughs> So uh, that's it. It worked. I'm pretty proud of it. Since I know it worked now, I'll kind of give you a rundown of what it was. Essentially what I did is I got into the goggles. I looked at the back of the board where the main battery plugs in, right there. In the back of the board, there were three solder points for that connector and took my trusty multimeter and figured out which was the positive, you know, the 7.7 volts and which was the ground. From there, I took a little bit of servo wire, soldered it to those points, ran that 7.7 .7 volt feed into my step-down regulator. I'll put a link in the description, but uh, I got it from Git FPV, and uh, here's what it was. Ta-da. Essentially, it was something that takes almost any voltage and turns it into 3.3 volts at 500 milliamps. Totally worked. From there, I ran it out via one of these cables that I bought because these always break. <laughs> Brought it out and uh, I can plug it in right there and just leave it plugged in and I'm good to go. So from now on, I can just shove a big 4S battery in my pocket and uh, power my goggles. Pretty proud of that. If you have any questions, uh, share them below. Yeah, we'll catch you next time on FPV in the flyover or whatever. <laughs> Later.